My brothers and sisters in Islam, I want you to pay attention to this. This is a shubha now. There is a shubha in this part of the hadith right now. I want you to be paying attention. And I know this is the truth. And I, got, I have to speak the truth. I don't fear nobody except Allah. And if you think you can fight me physically, come outside anytime. I'm a boxer, man. I, I, know, I, fear, I fear nobody except Allah. I'm telling you that. I, anyone who thinks that he's tough, come out. No problem. If you think that, that's who I am, come outside. You'll find out who I am. I'm going to tell you the truth. You can't kill people. You can't kill people, Akhi. You need to know this. Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, what did He say in the Quran? Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala has said in the Quran, من أجل ذلك كتبنا على بني إسرائيل أنه من قتل نفسا بغير نفس أو فساد في الأرض فكأنما قتل الناس جميعا. If somebody kills another human being unjustly, Allah has said, you will be like someone who has killed all of humanity, all of mankind. And what do we see these days? We see young Muslims being brainwashed day and night. And somebody is going to come to you and say to you, what? Brother, do you want to go to Jannah tomorrow morning? Yeah, I want to go to Jannah tomorrow morning. And the next thing is going to tell you, do you want to have breakfast with the Prophet? You're going to say, yeah, man, that looks cool. You, what are you going to do? Yeah. Blow yourself up, man. Kill as many people as possible. And then what? You're going to go to paradise straight away. Subhanallah. This is shubha. It's a doubtful matter. It's not right. I know, and this is fact, Ikhwani, is we have to tell the facts. There are certain people, brothers and sisters, making this type of what? Making this type of offers to other people and saying, I have the ticket for you to go to paradise. Why don't you take that ticket yourself, man? I think that the Quran. I ain't going with that. I don't want to go and fly on that flight. You take that ticket and go. It's not my business. Okay, I want to live my life. Allah, what did he say? I want you to worship me. Worship me, that's it. Why am I killing myself? Why am I killing innocent people? And we know what the Prophet Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam said about killing people. And we know what Allah Subhanahu Wa Ta'ala said about killing people. I'm telling you the truth. Wallahi, if I thought that was the way to go to Jannah, I would have done it first. But I know it's not. I, that's not going to take me to paradise. This is a big shubha, my brothers. And let me tell you, Allah gave you one life. Allah didn't give you two lives. Allah gave you one life. If you take a risk with your life, if you gamble with your life, Wallahi, nobody's going to give you a second life. Your friend is not going to say to you, ah, you made a mistake, man. I'll give you my life to you. You come back to this life. No way. The guy who, who gave you the ticket, the guy who said to you, what? I'm going to buy the ticket for you. Take it and do it. When you die, he's not going to call you back and say, man, that was a mistake, man. Come back. I'm, give you, I'm going to give you my life. No. You've done it. Khalas. You've gone forever. Therefore, my brothers, I know what's going on. Is social networking. I know what's going on. I know what the youth watch sometimes. I know what the youth listen to sometimes. You don't listen to these things. When your Hoya and Abba say to you, Abba, Hoya, don't do these things. Don't listen to these lectures. Don't listen to these things. Don't listen to, don't let these people brainwash you. Don't say to your mom, Hoya, you don't know anything. I know the, I know what the truth is. No. Don't say to your father, you don't know anything. You need to know that this is a serious matter. Secondly, my brothers, I don't want to take too much time, but I just gave you the message. Ikhwani, Allah gave you one life. 
don't gamble with your life don't gamble with your life you have one life and I'm just gonna give you an example every day do you hear Every day we hear Abu Huraira has said this in the book of Hadith, in the book of Hadith, Hadith Sahih al-Bukhari. Hayya Sahih al-Bukhari, Imam al-Bukhari, did he kill himself? Imam al-Bukhari, did he kill himself? Every single day you hear Sahih Muslim, Imam Muslim, Rahimahullah, may Allah have mercy upon him, did he kill himself? You hear every day Imam al-Shafi'i said, did he kill himself? You hear every day Abu Hanifa said, Rahimahullah, did he kill himself? Every day you hear, and Imam, Imam Malik has said this, Rahimahullah, did he kill himself? What made them famous? Why are they still alive with us today, even though they have died long, long time ago? If you want your name to remain in this world, Akhwani, you can have your name remain in this world forever by learning the deen. Learn the deen. Why do you want to take the shortcut and kill yourself? Don't kill yourself. Learn the deen. Be a man and stand to the realities of this world. It's easy to kill yourself. I'm telling you guys, it's easy to kill. You can kill yourself and finish off yourself.